Welcome to episode 35. Hello and welcome back so soon, I know. Um, okay, we're going to continue with wiring the M unit blue from Motor Gadget, uh, and in this session, we're going to uh, fit the handlebar switches that we did the wiring for uh, last time, uh, and then use those handlebar switches to get the indicators working and the headlight uh, and the horn. Um, okay, let's crack on with that. Right, quick M button test then. So what I've done, I've attached the button to the uh, left indicator and the earth cable from here. Okay, I've grounded the, um, the M button earth cable, as in the one that's inside the handlebars, and I've grounded that earth cable, which is separate, onto this Keith Robinson contraption here, which is earth. Um, I have attached my ignition circuit back on. If you remember, it's just a ignition and um, power there. I've attached the config cable from the M button to the uh, kill. It's called kill. Can you see that? The kill switch attachment, and then I've I've attached the um, the positive of the indicators to the indicator section, and I've grounded the other ends of them there. So what should happen is I turn the indicator on, I turn the ignition on, I hit the indicator button, and my button should flash here. Okay. Get one handed can I? Yeah, that's it, that's gone on. Yeah, see that? Power's on on that. So if I hit this button here, yes, my indicator flashes. So that tells me that my end button is working. Right, now to wire the switches up. Fully. Right, so what I'm trying to do to minimize number of wires going down the hole, I want to try and daisy chain the earths together so there's only one earth out of this. And I'm going to do that. I'll show you. I'm going to do that with one earth wire that kind of daisy chains the things together with a bit of heat shrink between them. If I go on. Yeah. But longer than that so that actually that earth sticks out of the, um, yeah, sticks out of the switch. Right. I think I know what I'm doing. Let me have a go at that. Okay, so there's my three uh, switches wired up. Okay, yellow is the middle one, so I'll do that one first. Okay. And orange is the top one. <clears throat> so, which round is that going? I'll be going that way around. S yep, that way around. So, orange is the top one. Okay, and 
that's the bottom one. So, we can zoom this in, I think. It's super zoomed. I need to get that, that earth wire there on that earth connection there. And then that earth, whoops, whoops, this long earth wire here needs to thread through this one and out of the side so I can sleeve the outside of it. Okay. So, to hold that steady, I'll use a little clamp. A bit of kitchen roll in to keep it uh, from damaging the side. Because I'm working with my tweezers here. Let's get that screwed down. And then let's get some heat shrink on the top of that. Okie dokie. So there we have my highly complicated daisy chained earth and three wires out right so i've just put a bit of a heat shrink tube across the top of there which i'll and then i will sort of prepare the end of these wires And then those four will attach to those four. So there's my switches let me just heat shrink them in I'll just save that out of the way for a bit Super good. And then what I'll do, what I'll do is I'll feed those back into the pipe. And that needs to go like that to protect them, doesn't it? Like that. Groovy. Beautiful, aren't it? So we're going to push these uh, wires in like that. In fact, I can pull that along there. 
push those wires in, and that go on there like that. It's about even, we're good to go. That's just awesome. So there you have my revival buttons attached. I even work. Right then, we're going to wire up the headlamp. Uh, the headlamp comes with this. Uh, I think it's called an H seven. Uh, headlamp adapter don't forget this is off a car so that just plugs straight into the car there's a couple of other spade connectors one I've covered over already with some heat shrink that was an indicator filament which because you can use these indicators so that flashed amber and then the white one is the halo um, on the headlight so off uh, off eBay I got one of these which is a Oops, which is just the, the connector for it. Um, and I've wired in the, the coloured wires off my list. Let me show you my list. So we've got the, um, where we are, light out, which is orange one and a half mil, and the green is the high beam. Okay, so I've got the orange and the green for the high beam going into my device, uh, going into my socket rather, plus the earth, and then I've got the just the light, um, just the one that says light on the spade connector when I find it there. There and that's going to plug into the halo. So let me plug that in and we'll test it out. Okay, fairly straightforward. Plug the connector in and plug my spade connector onto there for the halo. Now let's uh, see how the light switch works. One-handed ignition on. Oh, there you go. That does its thing. Right then, so. Remember the light is the top one here. So if I hit the lights, they come on. I'll do it in the front, actually. <coughs> See, we've got very bright, this like so yeah very bright so ouch so there you go turn it down a little bit right so i'll turn them off again first of all right so lights are off you hit your button once to put them on 
the I got the halo and the um whatever the uh dipped then if I just tap the light I get the flash main beam press and hold it a second it stays on press and hold it again whole thing goes off that works awesome so let me show you from this side if I can right and so uh, where's the button there it is right so I hit the button light comes on I can flash the, flash the main beam see that I'll press and hold it and it goes off all on the one button which is good indicators work which is also good horn next I'll mock that up quickly. It's really easy to add something to this M unit. Let me show you how. Uh, so the horn, okay, the horn is, I've got the horn button on my uh, handlebars. It is going through the M button, single wire, green wire into the input side of the M unit. Okay, and here's my horn, which is just uh, a bit grubby actually. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of leads on it. One, that's about there. One I will wire into the horn output. And the horn output is that one. Okay. Then I need to earth the other end, which I'll just do on the, um, by holding it on the earth uh, terminal. And then if I hit the horn button, it's going to be loud this. It bloody works. How easy is that? Right, small confession to make. Uh, on the last, last video, there was an error. This wire uh, doesn't go to the brake. Because I'm it's the M button, so this the brake wire actually goes straight into the M button, so that's uh, that's that's rubbish. I'll redraw that nicely. Okay. Um, in terms of wiring up for the for the lights, therefore, I've got a single connector. Um, it's got an earth on it. It's got a, a low beam, a high beam, and the halo. So uh, the halo goes from the aux one. Uh, the high beam goes from the high beam, obviously and the, uh, the the low beam goes from the one that says light and they are orange, green and blue in that order and there's an earth I will draw that again nicely in PowerPoint okay just to leave you then this is the updated wiring diagram now I've added on the, um, the headlights and my indicators and horn there you go that's the latest. Well, uh, that's us done again for another session. Hope that was good for you. Um, more next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, questions, all those things. Uh, see you next time. Thank you.